Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or it may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So let's begin. At the heart of your reading, it is the first card out and it is card of prevention. Um, this is, uh, well, as you can see by the image, uh, someone's trying to pull that sword out of the stone, but they can't. This is wanting something that you can't have or you feel like it's effort for nothing. Um, it could be wanting something that is not yours, but I mean, I mean, it could be the case for someone. I don't feel that that's exactly what this is about. I feel this is someone who's trying to save a relationship um, who has been, who has been persevering. Um, it could be with the devil here that there is indeed a third party. Um, but I mean, this could be uh, representing Capricorn. Uh, it could be representing the illusion of something. Um, it could be representing, because it comes with this Eight of Wands, which is some very uh, intense communication, uh, it could be, and I, and I feel that there is some very intense communication that does come in by way of the tower. Something could feel like an illusion or whatever this news is, it could make you very afraid. Whatever this is, yeah, see, we have the magician also. So uh, this news could expose something, some sleight of hand. Um, it could even, it could make you feel uh, shattered or that your world has been shattered. It, because it's, it's, this news is, is huge. Um, this news has the power to change things uh, in a very dramatic uh, way. Uh, the Page of Swords, this Page of Swords is, uh, it is about something or some learning something, uh, but it's not just that. It's learning something uh, very unpleasant. Uh, something that uh, makes one feel bitter and resentful um, towards someone because their foot is directly placed, stepping upon uh, this rock formation that is the shape of somebody's head. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, yeah, there you go. So... Um, <clears throat> I think that there's some uh, very dramatic, shocking news or a shocking revelation that comes out about your partner uh, or about, I feel like this is a partnership you're trying to hold on to is, is what this is. There could be a third person involved. Um, it could be that someone is playing you. Somebody is definitely uh, somebody is definitely deceiving you. Um, but uh, for you, uh, unless this is in reverse, I don't know. But I mean, for you, I feel this is your energy. I feel that there is an attachment or a certain attachment that in some way, uh, even though you're really angry and upset with this person because of something you learn, it's like you're not ready 
to let them go. You still want this person. So it feels like you learn something uh, very shocking. But you're, you learn something very shocking. This card says it requires a response. But if I look down here to justice, uh, and this Two of Shields, this Two of Shields is looking back at what you might lose or what you've lost and what you may yet lose. And then Justice here, uh, somebody is looking at uh, a sword that's hung up on a wall. So, so this could be waiting to take a decision because of fear of uh, what more. It's almost like what more am I going to lose here? Because there is still a certain attachment to this person. I strongly believe that this is your energy. That uh, that uh, these things are happening to you. And you're very afraid still of uh, losing this person or of what you may yet lose. You're afraid to take a decision. In Like in some way, I, I keep seeing in some way you still value this relationship. So you have a decision to make and uh, you're looking back at, at some incident. Uh, you're looking back at uh, an emotional uh, situation. Um, again, I have the impression that this person has power over you in some way. And so it's like you feel like you cannot choose. You feel like you're, it's like you have options here, but you're not happy uh, with these options. Um, you have an out, but you don't want to take it. Like you can choose to leave, but you don't want to. Um, it's, um, you're afraid. Again, uh, strength is in the reverse on, on the two of swords. So you're very afraid to take this decision and maybe it's because I mean the nine of pentacles is here um you you feel alone in this relationship but yet you're afraid to take that decision to leave it and it is possible uh, especially with this card here it's possible uh that it is a relationship of convenience in some way um, it could be about your security. Again, being afraid of what you might lose. So it could be about your security. This is about uh, taking a decision. It could be that uh, you... <clears throat> you could be thinking of an ultimatum or giving somebody an ultimatum, possibly with this person here. You may be trying to come up with a strategy, some type of winning strategy uh, to get a specific result. Or maybe this is what you've been trying to do is get this winning strategy. But this page of swords would suggest that there are 
a lot of problems that keep cropping up and getting in the way. Things keep mm, keep coming out. <clears throat> Hidden things. The Four of uh, Swords, um, the Nine of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. So uh, you could be looking at this, you're studying the relationship. You're uh, studying, I feel, um, again, your options when it comes to this relationship. And you're very afraid. So. <clears throat> Nine of Swords is a lot of thinking. It's overthinking. It's imagining the worst. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Okay, so um, it's imagining the worst. And um, I feel like uh, with this Four of Swords, the, the arms are crossed. Uh, it's like... There's one thought over their head and they're not budging. They're not budging on a decision they, they've made because they're too afraid. I mean, you could be very focused on money and security with that Queen of Pentacles. Look at her studying that coin. <clears throat> it could be that you still have feelings for this person that you don't want to admit to even. After, you know, after all they've done. You're very, very frustrated. And you're carrying a lot of burdens. You have the warrior and the burden card. Um, you're frustrated because it's not working. It's You're frustrated because of the prevention card. It's like uh, you can't, no matter what you do, no matter how much effort you put, it's just not working. The other person may not be putting effort. Uh, yeah, I saw that. It's here, not making an effort. Okay, so... I feel like there is another, if you choose to stay uh, here, I mean, it's always your choice. Things change depending on the choices that you make. Um, there will be another tower. I feel like uh, for this tower, I feel that whatever has happened here, I feel that that person will apologize for it. But they are being deceptive. You have a deception card here. And, um, yeah, see, a love interest may be trying to pull the wool over your eyes is what it says. Be wary of being misled by his or her words or actions. And look at this. You can't see their face, so you won't know if they're telling the truth or not. You're going to have to go on experience and any intuitive nudges you are getting. The thing is, you're trying to hold on to something that is just not working. It's no longer working, and you've been trying to hold on to it for a long time. The tower comes in when something is just not working anymore. Now, it's already happened here, but maybe you're not, or you don't want to see, or you're not seeing. For some of you, you will move. You will take a decision, and you will take a way out. And for other of you, you're, you're going to go into this energy here. So... Another tower is foreseen. Um, it feels like you want to believe this person, 
because you're, you're still trying to hold on, but you see what is creeping up behind you. Yeah, the death card. Uh, so, like the tower, uh, the tower follows the devil. Here's the devil at the heart of the reading. The tower, I mean the devil, is number 15 and the tower is number 16. So, uh, the tower is the result of the devil. It's the result of some type of deception, illusion, pattern, attachment. Um, here we have some communication here with the Ace of Swords, um, some explanation. I feel it is possible this person comes in and tries to talk their way out of it. But again, this card warns of a deception here. Okay, so beware of that. Somebody will try to pull the wool over your eyes and we see that with this person here. You will be shown the signs. So you are being shown the signs with her being here. It's going to be uh, up to you at that moment that this, uh, that this happens, uh, whether you have any more or wish to give any more or have anything left to give to this relationship. The tower says that, 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 you know, that there is nothing really left. It's almost like getting caught in a, I'll call it a tower loop. <laughs> it just keeps whoom, going around, you know, until you learn what you're supposed to learn here. And um, and so the focus here is on or will be, okay, what more can I give? I mean, I've tried, I've persevered, um, but it's like effort for nothing. And so there's a real sense of frustration here when this next tower comes in, okay? Some of you take your out here. Some of you, it will be over here. It's like, I have nothing left to give here. And so like, you know, you had hoped that if you played your cards right, that it would go the way you wanted it to, but the other person just not making the effort. Um, pulling the wool over your eyes. Here they are coming in being apologetic, but there's deception. There it is. Um, I feel like you could also be hiding your feelings uh, because of fear of loss. Because look, uh, with justice here, you're, you've put something, it's like procrastinating about talking or having communication or taking a decision. Um, and so you, you got this card of express yourself. You're hiding your feelings too much out of fear. Uh, fear of how uh, this person will react. This card says you need to say something and to give an ultimatum if one is needed. And so um, that is what I have for you. Be careful uh, in this energy because it feels like uh, someone here is trying to deceive you. I feel like they have been deceiving you. They have been taking advantage of you. And it feels like 
it feels like a one-sided relationship and all the cards would indicate that this is so with the devil the four of wisdom and these towers so it's up to you to decide at this point you have the information now you must take your decision but let's remember now also with justice uh, that uh, every decision we make bears a consequence so when you take your decision be very aware and uh, be ready to accept any consequences that will follow that is what I have for you I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing also thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation it is greatly appreciated many blessings to all of you